Um, obviously, we're struggling right now offensively. Um, you know, we, we've struggled the last two games to put the ball in the hole. Uh, we struggle with taking care of the basketball, and right now we're struggling with a little bit of confidence, as you can see. Uh, I thought, I thought our kids fought. I thought they played hard. Uh, you know, we we dug ourselves such a hole in that first half. Um, you know, I thought we fought in the second half. You know, we we lost the second half by two, um, but we were down 14. Uh, at the half, and it's hard to win any game when you shoot 27% from the floor, 10% from three. Um, you know, and we, we've got to find a way to put points on the board. Question, uh, Coach. You know, you, you, your girls were still able to win the rebound battle, the battle, the battle on the glass, but not, you know, not as many second chance points. As yeah, like. yeah, and and Ben, I think that that's. I mean, when you're struggling, when you're struggling shooting the basketball, you got to get when you got to get offense off your defense. We didn't do that tonight. Uh, I didn't think our defense was was terrible. Uh, I thought our defense at times was actually pretty good. We had some really crucial defensive breakdowns and assignments at crucial times when you felt like we were starting to get some momentum and making a run. But we, we weren't able to get any offense hardly off of our defense um, until the second half. There were a few spurts where, where you know, we, we had some fast break points. Uh, and then we, did, we had 17 offensive boards, but we just didn't get, you know, it, 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 we weren't putting a lot of those back, and so uh, you know we got we got to figure it out because uh, nobody's going to feel sorry for us. Uh, you know uh, the schedule is definitely not going to feel sorry for us, and um, you know missing shots is making shots is contagious, and missing shots is contagious. And I, I just I just think you could see when we didn't start the game off well, we we just got a little frantic. Um, you know, heck, at times we didn't even look like we we could handle the basketball. You know, we just got so sped up. And so I think right now we're, we're just struggling with a little bit of identity and, and confidence, you know. And, um, you know, yeah, I, you don't, you don't want to sit here and make excuses, you know, but we're, we're missing a big part of us. And, and right now she's not coming back anytime soon in Jordan. And so, you know, I, I think we, we've, got to get, we've got to get our veteran players, um, you know, playing again with confidence and, um, and just, um, you know, being able to step up and knock down shots and, and make plays. And then I think I, I've also got to do a better job of, you know, I thought McKenzie's threes were, were good. Those are threes that McKenzie normally knocks down, you know, but I got to make sure we're getting the ball into her in the paint. And, and we didn't do very much of that tonight. Now, a lot of that had to do with their defense. Anytime the ball goes into the paint, there's four people around the basketball and it's very, very physical. And so what they were giving us was the three. The three was wide open. And so uh, I, I thought, you know, we had to take a lot of those. Um, you know, we, we've just got to, we, we've got to find some confidence um, and, and we've just got to continue, continue to stay in the process and fight. We set the schedule up to have us ready for conference play. And by the time we get to conference, there will not be anything that we haven't seen um, or a level of play that we haven't played. And so that's, we've just got to trust the process right now as cliche as that sounds. A little bit of change of scenery over the next couple of days going to Puerto Rico, Puerto Rico down to place Florida Gulf Coast and New Mexico State. How, what do you see from those two teams coming? Up? Yeah, um, obviously um, Florida Gulf Coast is one of the best teams in the country. I mean, they're they're a top fifteen yeah. team. They've got the best three point shooter. I think she's I think Kendall Spray, who was at UT Martin, uh, transferred to Clemson, and and now she's at Florida Gulf Coast. If I'm not mistaken, I think she's leading the nation in threes. Um, they're a team that, that, heck, one night they made 14 threes. They're, they're going to shoot a ton of threes. And then um, Bell, the transfer, I believe she's a transfer from Ohio State, is um, she's in top top three uh, scores in the nation. And so uh, they are a team that can score a lot of points. And they are, really, they are a very, very good basketball team. But again, it's something different that we haven't seen. And it is, it is going to give us an opportunity to grow, an opportunity to get better and help prepare us. Um, you know, uh, that's the first game. New Mexico State, haven't watched a lot, much of them yet, um, but they're very athletic. They're going to press us for 40 minutes. Uh, turnovers is something we struggled with. So uh, right now, we've just got to focus on getting better each and every day. 
uh, correcting some of the things that are very fixable. And then I've, I've also got to make sure, um, you know, that, that we're putting our players in a position to be successful. So this is, this is a, a marathon. It is not a sprint. And uh, I think our, we've got to remember that as coaches. Our players have to remember that as players. And, um, and we, we've just, we need to just keep getting better every day. Thanks, Coach. Good luck the rest of the week. Thank you.